Hey everybody, it's me. So, I'm replying to Alex's question, what do I think of the poem Kite by Reeves, I think his name is, and I just watched the video. That poem was so astounding. It just, you're like flabbergasted because it's just not the type of poem you expect. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. And I would love to freaking, I would love to just wake up to someone reciting a poem for me after a wonderful night. <laughs> it doesn't matter what kind of night, if we were, you know, watching television or after a amazing night of you know what, but you know, just any type of event that we had together, just some, I don't know, like whether it just involves singing or poetry or just some form of art just expressed, you know, their feelings toward me besides just, you know, simple words of, I really enjoyed our time <laughs> and I really have feelings for you, you know, but that's just me going on a tangent. So I seriously enjoyed that video and I hope to watch more on my own time. <laughs> and <laughs> when you were replying to my question on whether you prefer guys that are assholes or nice guys, <laughs> I liked <laughs> I liked that you made it clear that because of recent events that you're sort of being a little biased, but at the same time, your low blows were quite <laughs> hysterical, as I'm still laughing thinking about it. But, hey, things happen. But we all make it through, and it's just another story to tell and another story to learn from. But, <laughs> quite, quite interesting. So I guess my question for you would have to be, I was reading this article on Yahoo, and they had this story about one of the oldest NFL cheerleaders and her name is what is her name Laura Vicmanis Laura Vicmanis I guess that's her name and I guess she was at a football game with some friends and she used to be a workout aholic and I don't know, I guess that just wasn't doing it enough for her. And so she was watching the cheerleaders and, you know, she was joking around with her friends saying, well, they get so much exercise, why don't I become a cheerleader? And I guess she actually decided to pursue that at the age of 39. And she failed, I think it was the f either the first and second time, and then she eventually did become a cheerleader. Now she's only 42 years old and she wants to make a movie out of this successful lifestyle that she has being the oldest cheerleader. I thought it was a horrendous idea and a ridiculous story to read, but of course it caught my eye. So I'm wondering how you feel about it. I'll probably post the link if I can find it again, but if not, then I'll just put in her name and then you can just Google it a little bit, but just let me know what your response is to it. Alright, love you. Rock on.